Hi everybody, it's Kenneth from Kenneth Talk. My husband bought me another pack of fuse beads from Amazon, one of those kits, and so I decided to do another product review. So this time it's the Milliard or Maillard fuse bead kit with 18,000 pieces, plus accessories and a carrying case. So the price for this is $26.99 right now, but the original price was closer to $40. $26.99 is a really good price for this uh, because not only do you get a decent amount of beads with it, but you also get a bunch of accessories and the container itself. And I'm going to be checking out the quality of the beads and quality of the accessories as well. Just to start things out, I wanted to see what the price of beads would be if we were only buying beads. So $26.99 and we're going to divide that by 18,000 beads. So that gives us the price per bead at 0 0.00149 uh, per bead, which is actually pretty good. Um, that's going to put you at a dollar per thousand beads, which is a very, a very good deal. Now, the reason I'm interested in uh, the price of this particular uh, pack and why I think it's usually more expensive is because of the storage case it comes with. Um, normally, those storage cases uh, with the three levels and the removable sections are actually pretty expensive. I have found a few different ones. Usually the clear ones are harder to find, especially at a cheap price. Oh, those are the little stackable trays that I use for my regular colors. But for those bulk bags, the ones that are 6000 uh, these stacking large trays are really good. This is what I would use for like black, white, tan, things that I have a lot of extra beads for. And uh, yeah, you can see here the Su Yi version is probably the one that I ended up buying at first, and that's $26.99 on its own. And it's always three trays with a handle on top, and they can connect to others if you buy multiples. So you could have a whole stack of like nine if you wanted. Here's another pack. That alone is what, eighteen? Yeah, eighteen ninety. Again, it's the same exact tray. If you look up curler bead kits, uh, you can sometimes find these trays. A lot of people use the uh, the single row like fishing tackle boxes, which you'll see that's on the left there. But here you can see here's a stacking tier fuse bead kit with twenty one thousand beads that comes with it. Oh, and at $25.99, that's actually a decent price. Just goes to show it helps to uh, kind of play with your search terms if you're on Amazon looking for a quick and easy bead kit to give as a gift or to get yourself started out. But uh, I'm going to be reviewing the one that I have, which is the Maillard. So I'm just going to call it Maillard. Just to give you an example of what I'm using, as you can see, it's just like the kits that we were seeing online. It's three stacking trays. Uh, they connect to each other really well. Currently I have a stack of five. Um, they fit, I think, four of these 6,000 packs of bags, which is usually the norm. I think the uh, smaller ones hold about four of the thousand packs. Anyway, so here's the kit. It's the same size as the other tray, so that's good there. It seems to be made basically the same quality. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up. So that's cute. First thing I have here is a little packet that has a design your own uh, pegboard template on the back. And on the inside, it's got little guides of things that you can make with the beads that come in your pack. It also seems to have its own names for each of the colors, which to me says that these are not curler beads. These are going to be a different brand, one of the mystery brands, probably. So I'm going to pop this open. And right away, I'm noticing very nice pegboards in here. Now, uh, I actually have gotten, I think, this brand before, or this uh, manufacturer of pegboards before, because I recognize the uh, background of it. Uh, the best pegboards that connect to each other that I've bought are the, I believe, Perler brand, because they have very large tabs on the sides that more securely connect to each other and they don't seem to be warped right out of the box, whereas the ones that came in this pack sometimes are already a little bit warped so they don't line up exactly straight with each other. They usually just don't rest as flat. Oh, this is 
cute. So this tells me this is definitely meant to be given to children and they are trying to teach kids how to review the product themselves online. So that's a fun little thing. Oh! Okay, so apparently they're trying to make the beads into characters and those are stickers. They each have a little name. That's kind of horrifying. And then we've got the paper. So the top it looks like they left open and I'm kind of surprised that there's no connectors in here. It seems to have a section where you can maybe insert connectors but it didn't provide any connectors for that top tray. So that's interesting. Because some people like them sectioned out like this underneath where you can have a different small color in each little section or choose to remove it to add the bulk bags, like the 6,000 pieces. Now looking at these colors, um, I'm noticing that there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to the colors, they're just kind of random. Like, yeah I've got some primary, I don't know if I've got black and white in this, which is something you would want to start off with. And I'm also noticing that uh, they don't look like they're going to match up directly to any of the shades that I have. Really quick, I'm just doing some quick math to see how many of each color I have. It looks like it's going to be about 900 per baggie. I'm looking at this and like some of these shades are close to Perler brand shades, but I don't think it would be the same as with the last kit that I reviewed where the differences were almost not noticeable at all. In fact, in the last one, I've, I've used those beads as substitutes for my other beads for some of my projects and so far I've not had any trouble with it even though they had different melting points. Now I'm looking at this and I'm noticing these sections do not pull out. These are built into the case which is very strange to me especially since the top case had the option to put in sections. So. That's actually a downside for me. I like to be able to be like, okay, I want to make this like half and half. And like, I can still do that with it sectioned out like this, but it's just so much nicer to be able to adjust the sizes of the boxes or remove them completely. That's very odd that they would build that in. And I thought for sure these were the same exact uh, trays that everyone else uses, but apparently they're not. So maybe that's why the uh, lower price is offered and it kind of makes the original price even worse as far as deals go. Okay, so just like last time, I'm going to take the red beads from this kit and compare them with my perler beads. I'm going to line them up and see if there's any color differences and I'm going to iron them to see if there's melting differences. I don't know about you, but I can definitely tell that one shade is darker than the other. I believe the uh, kit beads are darker than my red perler beads. I thought maybe that the reason they look so much darker is because they're supposed to be more of a cherry color instead of a basic red. They're called ruby in the kit's own little manual, so. Now you can't tell as much on camera, but in person I can definitely tell that even compared to the cherry, there's not a perfect matchup like there was with the other kit that I did. I'll go ahead and iron all three of these just to see if Maybe the cherry melts a little bit more like this new color. Now there's a big color difference in person and you can even kind of see it on camera between the Perler brand red beads and these new ruby Myard or Milliard beads. And the cherry beads are just completely different. However, this time around I noticed that the melting points seem to be about the same for all three. The kit beads did not melt dramatically faster than the other two sets of beads. Whereas with my other kit, they melted a lot faster a lot sooner. So they're sturdy, which uh, might not be a good selling point for some of you. I know that a lot of people don't like to have to use a very high temperature when they're melting their perler beads. All in all, I'm actually more disappointed in this kit than I thought I would be because the second tray can't be adjusted the same way that I thought it should be. And the beads are fine, but there's nothing special about them. And they also don't come in colors that would be super useful for someone who's just starting out. I mean, a person who's starting out needs black and white, not lavender or light gray. It does have some primary colors in it, but you'd be surprised how useless primary colors can actually be when you really get into 
creating sprites. Overall, it's an okay kit, but I feel like there's probably better ones out there, especially if the sale price that I got it at isn't available. I hope this is helpful. See you next time.